This is Flip Scipio and I'm a guitar repairman and I'm lucky enough to spend a little time with my old dear friend uh, Linda Manser, genius guitar maker and somebody I greatly admire, Papathini. One of the really cool things about going around and playing gigs um, and having a couple records out or whatever is the, the chance that you get to meet great guitar makers and I consider Linda one of my best, most important collaborators. Right. Had you actually I'm, I don't know whether I heard this story correctly, but had you actually just approached Pat with a guitar? I sent a letter backstage at one of his concerts. His road manager came out and found me and I ended up talking to him and, and they suggested that we go back to the hotel and take a bunch of guitars and Pat played the whole concert over again in the room. <laughs> Linda handed me her instrument and it was instantaneously a completely different experience for me and the way the notes went from one register to the next is the it was exactly what it is I'm always looking for which is it sounds like one instrument and it's very connected and her guitars consistently have that and they sound incredible do you send each other drawings when you're working on something when we did the Picasso I wrote kind of drew on a napkin and like some kind of yeah. Like, couldn't you do, like, with... You asked me for guitar with as many strings as right. possible. And then I gave you a drawing of a whole bunch of strings in a line. Right. And you said, let's do But I sort everywhere. of remember it being, like, blurred with, like, a blue Sharpie on a... <laughs> on a napkin. On a napkin. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, hamburger ketchup Great. and stuff. <laughs> Great. I'll make you that. And <laughs> off I went. And also, when difficult. I got that guitar from you, I... I just stared at it for about <laughs> three years. I actually didn't quite know what to do with it. It took me a long time to th like think, okay, well, I could do this, I could do that. I took two pictures of you the first day you had it. And the first one, there, you've got a big smile on your face and you look really happy. <laughs> and the next one is you're looking down at it like, oh, shit, <laughs> I have to tune it now. <laughs> yeah. Did you play fretless 12-string with Kenny Garrett? Um, I saw you I, play at the Knitting Factory. You saw us do the track which is on the live trio record called Counting Texas. I love that track. Is yeah. that the fretless, archtop, classical? Yeah. With the energy on the track yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. Well, that, that instrument came from, my wife is uh, French, but her family is Moroccan. And we had just come from a tour or a, a trip in Morocco. And, you know, I played, you know, and, and observed oud players almost every day, which is basically, you know, an 11 string ni fretless nylon string, right? And I was like, one of those calls, Linda, <laughs> how hard would it be to, you know, and we had already, Coming up. <laughs> we had already done the six string fretless, which I loved and is featured a lot on the track, Imaginary Day. Well, you've really pushed my envelope, which I'm incredibly grateful for because You've made it really easy for me to explore, but knowing that basically, no matter how far I go off the request, you're cool with it. Oh, yeah. You know, you well, just that's, like. You know, but that's that's also kind of the world that I live in, which is to kind of come up with enough information musically to sort of create an environment for exploration. And we've had you know really a great time developing you know, some really interesting instruments together that I think have had uh, a, a very important place in my life in terms of what I've been able to express sonically that I, you know, would not have gotten to otherwise. So it's pretty cool. Sure. All right. It's great. It's really fun. Yeah. Thank you.